we are now starting to see MSI laptops with RTX 30 series video cards. I believe that some of you are starting to consider getting one because you want to experience ray tracing in some games or to simply maximize its full potential. However, some of us are still stuck with a very limited budget but still want to get a good gaming laptop. Fortunately, MSI is still selling laptops with RTX 20 series video cards, just like what we have right here, the MSI GS66 Stealth. Oh, just in case you don't find it obvious, this video is sponsored by MSI. We have showcased MSI's laptops in CES 2019 and 2020 in Las Vegas. We did not get a chance to cover it this year, unfortunately, due to COVID-19 risks worldwide. Nevertheless, we are fortunate enough to receive this unit for us to tinker with. So to our friends at MSI, thank you for sponsoring this video. Well, hello there. All right, so I want to make this as casual as possible. Um, I downloaded a few games on this laptop that will somehow uh, maximize its full potential. And uh, before I forget, this uh, MSI GS66 Stealth is powered by a 10th gen Intel Core i7-1087H processor with RTX 2070 Max-Q design GPU. Now, insofar as uh, the display is concerned, this one can go as high as 240Hz refresh rate and a 99.9 watt hour battery. I don't want to bore you with the details, so you can see all the specs that you need to know on this side. All right, so we'll be playing three games on uh, this laptop. I installed Valheim. I will be playing that on uh, our exclusive server that we're currently renting at G Portal. And we will also be playing Cyberpunk 2077 and the Half-Life Alex. So I have already pre-installed these games on this laptop and we'll try to crank them up uh, to ultra settings at 1920 by 1080 since this laptop can, can only go as high as that. Now, Half-Life Alex is a different case. Uh, apart from the GS66 Stealth, we'll be using several devices for us to be able to pull this off. So we have a Wi-Fi AX router and also an Oculus Quest 2. Now, since this laptop has Wi-Fi 6 module on board, we should be able to stream our game using virtual desktop and play Half-Life Alex via Steam VR on our Oculus Quest 2 with zero issues and significant latency issues. So. Let's go. Okay, so let's uh, start off uh, playing some games uh, with the GS66 by MSI. I have here Valheim. Let me uh, paste first our server right here. That is our server. Um, of course, I will not be telling you guys the password for now, but uh, once uh, we're able to expand our server, then we might, I can probably uh, invite you over. All right, so um, this breakthrough game actually uh, is uh, one of the best rated games on Steam right now. It's It actually changed the way survival games are played. From base building to exploring this specific island seed, which I'm currently uh, loading right now, uh, this is a very enjoyable game to play. So we're playing now at night, so there's no way for me to... <laughs> Okay, so we're getting about 64 FPS at uh, its maximum settings, as far as I know. Boom. Let's, let's kill them first for now. Before we uh, check on... Oh, don't kill me! The specs, or the settings rather. Oh, dead. Alright, let's, let's get them first. Okay, let's uh, press escape settings. Graphics. We're playing at 240 Hz. Uh, draw distance is at high. Let's go max it out. Uh, V-Sync is currently off, Bloom is turned on. So, yeah, it's uh, currently maxed out. We're getting about 65, uh, probably average of uh, 60 FPS. We have here, let's see the light. There you go. All right, so the game uh, features a different take on survival open world uh, genre, and uh, it shows a, a rather unique visual design. And uh, not just design, but also gameplay. Uh, I have been actually playing this game for more than a month now and have been actually enjoying it with my friends on this dedicated server that we uh, actually put up uh, right here. Okay. So um, we have loaded already this part of uh, this map and we're getting about 60 FPS. Again, we uh, cranked up our settings right here and so far, uh, the performance is really good. Uh, the game is still at its infancy. 
um, it is uh, well, although it is still a, a very uh, an early access game. Um, the uh, oh, what's this? The performance so far of the game is really good. Very decent performance. Um, I think it's able to make use of my all of my resources properly. What is that? Oh my god, what's that? Oh my god! Oh no, sir! Boom! Oh my god! There you go. No more. Bam! Trophy collected! Is it? Oh my god! No! Oh, that's... What is this? Ah! Whoa! Whoa! I died! <laughs> Oh no! Well, that's the end of it. <laughs> that is uh, Valheim. All right, so uh, the next one is uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, this game was launched uh, last year and marks as one of the most memorable and also uh, controversial games in uh, this generation. Uh, despite the bugs that I encountered, my Overall experience was rather okay, albeit missing some of the substantial gameplay experience that I was actually expecting. Uh, this game was uh, developed by the same people who made the Witcher series, so my expectation was uh, really high. So here's the game. Um, let's go and check out the settings first. Uh, we're playing this at uh, hold on. Ray Tracing Ultra with uh, motion blur turned off. Okay, so we're getting about... Uh, 28, 27, probably this would be about 25 FPS uh, at average. Let's see if we can uh, pull this mission off without uh, getting killed. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see. Oof. That's a lot. Over here. Dead. Dead. So far, we're okay. That is a rat. Let's um, make him kill himself. <laughs> That's the best way. Dead. Dead. Okay. Oh, good lord! You saw me. What is that? Oh no. Boom. Ah! One more there. Boom. Oh no, I have it reloaded. this now good all right the uh, performance is nice I mean it's playable within the boundaries of uh, <laughs> playable quality which I think is an uh, excellent for a game that is considered to be buggy <laughs> Good. New shard. All right, that's uh, Cyberpunk 2077, getting about 25 to 30 FPS at maximum settings. Obviously, we can uh, make this uh, the performance a little more, a little better by uh, bringing down the ray tracing to medium. Let's probably bring down or turn off the, the motion blur, and uh, maybe um, uh, set the uh, ray tracing to medium. Turn on uh, the DLSS and let's see how it's not performing. Yeah, a little better. 33 FPS, 34. So you can play around with the settings if you want to. Oh, wait, there's one more here. Oh, good Lord, no, please don't kill, don't kill me. Oh, he killed me. Anyway, so yeah, so that's uh, the case for the Cyberpunk 2077. Not bad. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is 
We're going to be using the Oculus Quest 2 and Steam VR and Play Half Life Alex. Let's go. All right, so uh, Half Life Alex, uh, this is actually my first time to actually play this game. Um, Alex uh, takes place uh, five years before the events of Half Life 2. Um, Half Life 3 is still nowhere to be seen, and it might probably take another generation for us to see the third part. Now, Half-Life Alex gives us a whole different way of uh, playing Half-Life. Now, as you can see, this is a VR game and there are a couple of things to consider when playing this on a laptop. Now, here's a rundown of things that are needed in order for you to play and enjoy this game on your MSI laptop or on your MSI GS66 Stealth. Of course, we've got here a GS66 Stealth, and we also have an Oculus Quest 2, which is now connected to uh, this laptop via Wi-Fi 6, uh, via 5 gigahertz of frequency. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 is crucial in uh, this equation because uh, this will allow you to play this game without any cables tethered to our GS66. Now, if you want to know more about uh, how we're able to set this up, I'll have an upcoming video about everything that you need to know. All right, so we were able to install the game now and all the necessary components or software for us to play the game. So let's now start. All right. Hope you guys can see now what I am seeing on my uh, Oculus Quest 2. Oh, this game is really good. Okay, let's uh, reset our window. Start new game. Option, Mac, Blink, okay, Blink is okay, start game. Ooh, all right, let's go. Gotta be more careful here because I might, I don't want to hit the display of, uh, <laughs> of the GS66 Stealth. So, and the death of Ellie Vance, age 19. Human resistance, okay. Reconnaissance, good. <laughs> Grabe. Can I go there? Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> okay, toa. Hello. <laughs> good. Step inside right here. Hello, yes. Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, I'm good. Right like that. Gotta be more careful. Guess I can't reach the pen. There you go. I can reach the pen right now. And let's write here M. Okay. S I. <laughs> There's a bit of uh, latency, but that is only because this laptop is connected via Wi Fi 5 gigahertz, Wi Fi 6, and also this VR. So imagine how good it would be if this laptop is actually connected uh, via um, Ethernet or cable. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh. Obviously, the, the data you're seeing on the left side is inaccurate because we've already uninstalled that because it's interfering with uh, virtual desktop. So that's the reason why you're not seeing a uh, correct reading right over there. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. Let's check that out for now. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Desiccated sustenance bar, water flavor. Cool. Let's throw it right there. 
Oh, ah. First try. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, hello. I'm in the elevator. <laughs> I close it. Come on. There you go. Good. Hey, 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 check it out. All right, so far it's uh, playable. I like it. I don't want to spoil you guys. Uh, let me uh, stop here. I will continue my gameplay later. So for now, I'm going to return to the game and save my progress so that uh, I'll be able to continue it later on. All right. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice experience as you can see. I was able to play the game. All right, so my experience basically drives the point of uh, this video. Uh, this laptop remains uh, to be uh, uh, actually a very relevant uh, despite having an RTX 20 series GPU. Now, if you're short on budget, there's really no reason for you to get a laptop with a new GPU. Of course, I will not hesitate to recommend a better one if your, your budget is not an issue. If you're interested in getting an MSI GS66 Stealth, you can check out the variants and prices in the description below. Of course, GS66 Stealth is just a taste of what you can do and experience with MSI's laptops. And if you're interested to know more about their latest products, you can check it out right here. Well, that's it for now. I had fun playing these games on this laptop. Again, special thanks to our friends from MSI for lending this unit over and for sponsoring this video. If you like this, consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up if you think we deserve it. This has been Gian. Catch you in the next one.